Hello everybody and welcome back to Hydraneer. Today we're gonna be setting these guys up. And I'm also gonna show you what I've done so far and what I plan on doing. So stick around and be right back. Hey guys and gals, let me go over what I've done so far so you get an idea of what my plans are. Um, I had a blacksmith shop up here, but I got tired of going up and down the stairs. So I cleared all this out and set up a nice little blacksmith stuff. This is gold, this is lead, this is my jewels, this is my crystals, and my, um, what is this called again? Claudium. And I had an extra bucket for the lead, but then when I came down here, I just started putting the lead. Got a second furnace and just put the lead in there. And I've kind of got some digging done. So I still got to clear out. What I basically want to do is clear out this bottom, see how far back it goes and see how wide, because it kind of kind of goes crazy down here. So I want to see how wide it is eventually. And see if we can put a uh, conveyor belt system with sorting, um, smelting, and all that. So that's the plan. But while, I, while I'm digging all this stuff out, I need to go ahead and be making some money. So right now, we need to go get some pipes. I know I'm going to need this. Huh? I uh, know I'm gonna need a couple of these. I might need some more. Never have enough pipe. Okay, now I'm gonna need a bunch of these. Okay, right now we got three thousand six hundred and seventeen dollars. That's gonna cost us three three hundred and five. So we're down to three thirty three thousand three hundred and twelve. So come over to here, and we'll go ahead and put the drill here, the harvester here. I know I'm gonna need a couple bags of these. I might as well get them. Okay, and I'm gonna take this and put this in the back of the truck. Then we're gonna go for a little ride. There's some a couple things I want to check out before we set everything up. And there's one thing, there's a couple things I need to put on the back of this truck. Uh, not the back. Well, there's a couple things I need to put in the back of this truck. But what I need to do is get a couple filters. To help um, defer the cost of maintenance. So now I'm going to end up having to repair. But the water filter helped improve the um, equipment from breaking. Okay. I don't know where I need to go. I forgot where. I oh, this is where I need to go. Stop. Okay, this is... Oh, wood floors. Oh, I did not know this was here. I would have built all this. I would have used wood instead of the metal I had, but oh well. At least I know where I can find some wood stuff and get stuff going. Okay. Uh, we'll go over here. This is where I need to be. So I'm going to need four of these. And I'm also going to buy pressure gauge because I want to see how things are. I'm also going to buy a scale. I don't think there's anything else I need to buy right now. I got that. Got that. Got that. I don't need any tier 2 stuff yet. I tried that and I ended up hating it. 
Okay. Now that's for when we do. This is for when we do the thing. So we'll just buy this. It's going to cost us. Um, give me. It's going to cost us nine hundred and sixteen. This in the back of the truck. Actually, tell you what, it'd be quicker just doing this. I just gotta get used to how to jump into the truck. All the other games are these. This game, it's Q. Okay, I, I need to back this when I'm over here. I need to back the truck up in here and let's have them. Pile it on, then drive off to jumping up and down. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we got four filters. Okay, so we got four filters, so that's going to help with the cost of setting everything up. All righty. And now we're going to drive back. And I'm just curious, guys. Um, I'd like to know, get your take. If you see me doing something or if you got a suggestion, please leave it down in the comments. This is my first full week of playing this game, so I'm still understanding a lot. I had to restart after after my first episode on this. Too far. I had to reload after my first episode, but I'm learning things still, and I and I found out that the um, truck continues even after you stop and get out. But <laughs> actually, I just won't go ahead and put these. And rotate. There we go. That's one. I'm just going to put them there. I tell you, let's just take this. And I'm going to put... Actually, let me move this out of the way. And we've got our scale there. We've got a blacksmith shop set up. And I know you can put four on one. Let's see. No. T. Okay, the pressure gauge is going to come down here. Put that there for right now. And we'll put the other filters on. See, okay, one more to go. And see this, no. There we go, and then we take the hammer. And um, get the truck out of the way because I'm dangerous for the pick and I don't want the truck downstairs with me. <laughs> but this is, I'm going to keep this area as my test area. Um, even after I go on to a claim. The reason why is I want to be able to test, I want to figure out how the logic works. And I want to test it over here before I implement it into my systems. 
So I'm just gonna put the money right here. Okay. And now I'm gonna need that. Downstairs. Got a lot of work we got to do today. Put this down here and I just need to take my iron. Oh, I had some jewels. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Another one. I'm a bad sorter. Okay, we got some lead. How much lead do we got? Nine hundred and nineteen point zero two. I have yet so first lead I sold was the first um, basket of stuff. And guys, we know what to do with these relics. Just put it in the cave. What cave and what what happens when I put the relics in the cave? I've had two of these. I, and I put them down here every time I come back after a saved game. They're gone. So I don't know what's going on with those. If you can let me know down in the comments, I would really appreciate that. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need one of these. I know that much. So we got to figure out where we want to put this. Okay, well, we'll put you right there. And I found this is the most important tool to have in this whole game. I keep on accidentally picking up everything, but I don't lock it down. <laughs> That, to me, that's the most important tool you can have in this game. Okay, let's put this up here. Okay. Okay, actually... Uh, okay, let's go over here. Okay, so it's gonna come down here into here. Okay, so we just need to bring the pipe over to here and then connect. Okay, no problem, we can do that. Okay, now for the chomper. What's this thing called? The Stone Iron Forge Harvester. I'm not harvesting thing. I'm grinding things down is what I'm doing. Okay, so. Huh? Okay. I want that coming here, not there. So what I'm going to need to do. Rotate it. You there. So I got a pipe coming in there. Then I need a pipe going into there. So what I can do is just do this. Take you off. I'll move this for a second. Okay. Now it's time for the piping. And this is what gets... Gets me confused as hell sometimes. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, now I'm going to need a couple of these. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I need to put this in there. Okay. So we're going to smelt the crystal because I need to put a big block of crystal, big block of stuff in there. Oh, I already got the stuff. I just need to move it. Okay. Now this much I do know. I am going to need one there. That's not a problem. Problem is how I'm going to split this. And I also need... Put something else in there. Let me 
can put that on there too, so. I need a bunch of curves and a T. Did I get a T? I don't think I got a T. Did I get a T? Nope. Need a T. And let me get a cork just in case. I got a shut up valve down already down below. Okay, so let's bring the tea. And what I was thinking, and what I can do is just bring a day of tea to this machine, but I need pressure, so I need to come down, maybe down to here, then put the pressure in, and this. Okay, yeah, that will work. Actually, I need to start thinking long term. Because right now I have 900 ounce, 900 pounds of lead. And it's 300 pounds per machine from what the videos I've seen that we have to go get this. Um, where we have to go make those drills from. So I was thinking about having three drills that's pumped into here. So, yeah, I can put three in here. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Okay. So I have three times the amount of drill down below. So that might work. It's just trying to figure out how these pipes work. And how I can get it to work with me still being able to move around down here. So what I might do is just move. Can I pick this up with the pipe? No. Oh. There. And I can pick this pipe up. And we'll put you there. I can put the bucket there. That's not a problem for right now. And I'll be going out that way any which way. So what I was thinking... Get the, I got another straight pipe up here too that I had left over. I think I bought too many straight. I think I bought too many pipes. But we're gonna see. What I'm gonna do is just come down here, straight pipe. Okay. What I was thinking. The straight pipe there. I put this block here. And then this machine. No. That machine there. Yeah, straight. No. No. Have this here. And I need to rotate that. No, wrong rotation. This way. I can just put a block here so I can hop up here. And No, that's still not where I want it to. No, that's upside down. I want it to be easy. Yeah, see, I can. No, wrong way. Yeah, I'll just put a block up here and then I can just do that. That worked. Where's my T? I know I had a T. So what I was thinking is. No. Oh, no. Ah! Wrong button. Okay, come on. Pick up. Here we go. Come over. No. Quit hitting me, buddy.
Rotate. And then let's do this. Pick this up. Okay, pick, all right, just pick up one, buddy, and move. And then... Take... Where's my hammer? There's my hammer. Loosen this. Rotate like that. No, huh? Huh? just drop the thing. When I want you to hit E, you don't hit E. I don't want you to hit E, you don't hit E. Okay, then let's take the pipe. Come back one. There we go. And then look. There we go. This is actually going to be pretty simple. If I remember what button to hit. Okay. Alrighty. So basically what we are going to do is come down here. The water comes down from up here. And I've already encased it in concrete. But the water comes from here, comes all the way down there, goes through. Actually comes through this wall and I brought it out this way. I got the valves turn it on and off. And this continues on to here. What we need to do is pick this up. that down here could get another block to be able to this yep so I can get up and down from there we'll take this and shut it and we're in I'm gonna take this down uh show Wait a minute. Actually, there's a couple things I need to do before I do that. Because huh? with my luck, I'll end up picking up the pipe any which way, so I want to lock all this down. Okay, so that's locked down, so we're going to move this. And move this. Lock down, lock down. Shovel. And I need some of this good stuff down here. That should be good enough. Let's find out. Now take that hammer. Lock it down. Take one of these. Two of them down here because one no D e. no. Huh? I don't know if that's gonna work, but we'll find out. Can we turn this on? That thing's running. Why is this thing not running? That's water coming out of it. Why is there not water going into it? Ah. Turn this off. Let's, um, move this. It might not have dirt. Uh, no. 
Okay, and then I can put this here. Make sure there's enough head clearance for it. So it can go up and down, down and up. Oh, doesn't matter, eventually I'll have everything covered over. All the holes will be covered over so I don't fall down and go boom. Okay, now, let's see. Oh, I know why. <laughs> okay, so we're going to open this. going to hop up here, hop up here. It worked before. Why is it not working? No. Huh? Okay. And there's something I did get to do. Turn it on. And it's not working. We are getting water. Yeah, we're getting water. Okay, where's the pickaxe? Okay, let me try. Double. I'm making a mess. Nope. Nope. There we go. Let's see if that works now. There we go. And we got the drill working. I just had to put dirt in the right place. So we get it. Let's put everything away. everything pounded down and locked so we get the drill running yeah I still had to clear the room uh, everything locked down yeah everything's locked down okay so we take this Yeah, we can just put that. Okay, we're getting 55 pounds of pressure coming through here, then it comes down. This increases the pressure. And we are getting rocked. Yay! Got a little stubby stubby there. We got a lot of digging to do, but what I'm gonna do off camera is dig this all out underneath here, collect my money, start sorting everything, and be nice and friendly when I'm done. Um, what did I do with the lead? Oh, there's the lead. Let's go ahead and put this back in here so we make another bar. But we got stuff going, so. Like I said before, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, especially suggestions, because I'm still new at this, but I want to use this plot for a couple more episodes. I want to build a conveyor belt where everything ends up down here. I might have to go up and around and come back down, but I want everything to come down where I have access down here. And the main reason is because my blacksmith and all that's down here. That way I don't have to keep on going up and down. There's a couple things. Uh, I got a couple things I need to do, but I got a lot of work I'm going to do off camera. But like I said, if you got any suggestions, comments, please help me. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out this game. I think I got a good handle. Um, I know there's one thing. This is a gold mining 
lead mining, gem operation, caladium, and crystal operation. Let's put one downstairs. Operation, but they all have one thing in common, digging. There's a lot of digging in this game. So, so right now we got some of it. Now we got the drill automatically digging for us and we're getting some good good stuff out of that so, again any comments suggestions let me know and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and bell that way you know when the latest videos i do and see how well how bad i do at this game or see how good i do hit that bell and that way you know when the latest videos i do also when i go live here on youtube and if you can do me another favor hit that like button every like i get helps this channel seem be seen a little bit more which helps grow this channel and i would really appreciate that also we have a discord channel it's free of charge link is down below in the description and as always have fun playing your games be safe out there in the world and i'll see you in the next one bye bye